and welcome to Camp Yarnsey for another fun Friday. Here are your quick reminders. If you like knitting and are looking for a new virtual knitting group, check us out on Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can get the virtual meeting link at yarnsey.com. On Wednesdays, we have our fun-filled live spinning group at 8 p.m. Eastern. Again, you can get the link at yarnsey.com. On Thursdays, get crafty. It's time to pull out those whips that have been in time out. Come one, come all, Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern, any craft goes. Get the link at yarnsey.com. Today, we're talking about how to get started spinning. Spindles 101. So, let's talk about the types of spindles very quickly. Let's go for two main categories. We have supporting and drop spindles. Supported spindles, how do they spin? They balance on their tip. So they use a surface to spin on. You could use a small bowl, sometimes just a flat surface, but they need something to spin on. Examples include the Tibetan, Russian, Pong, Taki, and Navajo. These are great spindles for short fibers such as cotton, for example. Drop spindles, how do these spin? Well, they spin because you suspend them hanging and they spin that way. Examples include top whirl, bottom whirl, Turkish. Now, the top whirl spindles are great for spinning shorter fiber lengths because they have a high speed. Now, bottom whirl spindles, only difference is that shaft is close to the bottom makes the spindle more stable and less bouncy than the top whirl spindles. Bottom whirl spindles are also great for spinning heavier, thicker weight yarns and then plying yarn together. Now let's talk about how do you pick a spindle type? So there's all these spindles, which one do I pick? Well, there's some things that are important to think about, such as your fiber, your yarn weight, your spindle weight, your location, and some beginner recommendations. So let's go through these pretty quickly. First thing, what fiber do you want to spin? Do you want to spin a short staple fiber? This would include cotton, yak, camel, and cashmere, for examples. Now, these types of fibers, because they're short, they need a fast spin. So the twist that you get from spinning will enter the fiber quickly and the fiber will not drift apart. So for the short staple fibers, a support spindle or a top whirl would be a good choice. Now, if you're looking to spin long staple fibers, any spindle type will do. If you're not sure about your fiber, look at the yarn that you like knitting or crocheting with to start with. So if you like knitting with merino, for example, look it up, see how long that fiber length is. Um, merino is an excellent fiber to start with if you are a beginner. And if you're not sure or you want more information on fiber, check out the Fleece and Fiber source book. It's a great resource as well as there's that thing called the internet. Yarn weight. So briefly, the weight of the spindle, so how heavy your spindle is, will determine the weight of yarn you can spin. In a nutshell, you can't spin lace weight on a really heavy spindle. That's like, Asking a rock to balance on a feather. It's not gonna happen. You can't spin bulky on a featherweight spindle either. So how do you know what weight you need? 
So selecting a spindle weight. So if you are looking to spin lace weight yarn, look for a spindle that weighs 0.5 ounces or 15 grams. Fingering weight yarn, one ounce. Sport or DK weight, 1.75. Worsted, 2.5. Or bulky, three ounces or more. So this kind of gives you a good idea of where the spindle weight compares to the yarn weight you can spin on it. The other thing you need to consider, where are you going to spin? So where do you knit or crochet? How do you travel? Is this going to need to go in a bag? The only thing I'd like to kind of remind you of, support spindles. They need a surface to spin on. Whether this is a support bowl or just a surface, you're gonna need something. Top, whirl, drop spindles, etc. They just need some space. So those just something to think about. If you travel a lot or you're looking to be a spinner couch potato, just something put in your mind there. Now, beginning spinners. Here's an easy and kind of a good recommendation. Start with either a bottom or top whirl spindle. The weight of the spindle to give you a medium weight yarn, 1.75 ounces to 2.5 ounces is a good spindle to start with. Also, for a long staple fiber, try merino. The only fibers I would not start with as a beginning spinner would be super slick fibers such as alpaca or super short fibers such as cotton. If you would like to see some more information or check out the spindles that are available, look at our vendor links, which are included in this video note section. And next time, learn how to spin on a top whirl spindle. Yes, you'll actually see me spinning on a top whirl spindle from start to finish. Get a reminder so you know it's out. Check out our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. It's always nice to share us with friends and give us a like on Facebook and follow us on social media. Thank you, Yarnsies, for watching and supporting us. I am Lindsay Lichtenstein. Once a Yarnsie, always a Yarnsie.